what's going on guys back by popular demand <laughs> not really a few people did ask what i was doing and things like that i still haven't decided what i was going to do um but i'm out in the garage today i went and picked up a few things for the coop uh so i end up getting some door panels some armrests uh, i end up getting the center console and the center console armrest um i got uh some door moldings and uh we end up picking up a tilt steering column uh for mike's car and one of the big things is i got my uh, my rear bumper so my rear bumper is right here pick this up so that's the last body part i needed to get back on the back of the car uh plus you know me i get ahead of myself and i started putting some white paint on here just to see how everything was looking even though i'm probably gonna have to redo everything again anyways so um yeah so i'm not sure how often i'm gonna post videos i will try to continue to do it obviously it's been i think over a month since my last video um, as you can see car is still in the same condition that it was i haven't even done any body work or whatever i do have two new fenders up there um the one on the other side's garbage. This one has had some work done to it and has tweaked a little bit, but it's clean. So I'm gonna decide whether I use this one or that white one up there. Um, so yeah. So anyways, like I said, not sure how long or how often I'll be able to post stuff. Um, I'll try to continue to post when I can and stuff like that. Um, also the new dog I told you about, there he is just chilling, eating leaves right now. Um, so today in this video, I'm, uh, just going to cover, um, something simple just because I'm going to do it anyways. So I did pick up these new to me moldings. As you can see, they are red. Uh, they do need to be cleaned up and you can see how bent they are. So we're going to cover how to fix your moldings from bending like this. Um, this one here is actually pretty straight, but as you can see on this guy, he's a bit twisted. So I'm going to show you guys how to solve that problem. And it's very easy. Some of you might have seen it before, um, but that's why a lot of people don't put the door moldings back on when they paint the cars because when you reuse your old moldings generally they're like this after you peel them off and uh, they just want to keep peeling back so we're going to show you how to stop that from happening okay it's very very simple so i'm going to show you on i think i'm going to show you on this big one because you can see how wavy it is and then uh, go from there right so when you get your moldings off your car or if you need moldings and you want to replace them um, you can see on the back how they look there's the old uh, two-sided tape that they use the glue whatever under this glue is if you look closely is a strip of metal so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna peel all the strip of metal right out on both sides of this and then what's going to happen is this is going to go you see how solid it is this is going to call floppy like a guy that needs viagra you know what i mean um and it's going to solve your problem okay so we're going to start by peeling it off i'm going to try to set you up and show you what i do the process how i peel it out and then i'll you'll be able to see how much more workable these moldings are. It's been a little bit, as my wife was out here with her, her mom, so it's been kind of delayed. So anyways, so about these trims. So what we're gonna do is, you can see the metal stripping in here. I'm gonna do the best I can with this, guys, because it's gonna be hard for you to think. So what you wanna do is, I'm gonna take your blade, if I can get it, and you wanna try to get under this metal stripping. Okay, I'm gonna do the best I can. I know it's horrible the way it is right now, but we're gonna try to get under this and we're gonna peel it back the best as far as we can. 
to actually get some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, some needle nose pliers or whatever you want to use. Vice grips. Okay, so we're gonna peel it back. Nice and nice, right? You can see it's peeled. Okay, then we're gonna go over here. What did I do? So I've got my trusty needle nose, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them on here like this, and we're gonna pull on it. Okay, All right? I would use my trusty bench, but it's covered and stuff, like always. So what you wanna do is you wanna get this moving the best you can. And all you wanna do is roll it, all right? Oh, see this one ripped. So sometimes it'll rip like that, guys. And then you just have to peel it off and then start again. But the good news is a lot of time, oh, this one's not gonna work the way, but you can see what I'm saying. Um, the last time I did it, I already tried it one more time and it peeled right off. So you want to peel this back until all that strip's gone and you want to do the same on this side. So I think I'm going to set you up here and show you what I show me doing the whole thing in a time lapse and then we'll come back. You can see how wavy this thing is and then I'm going to show you how it is after. It is a bit cool in my garage. Um, do you have the heaters on? Actually, I've got to turn this one back on. We'll see if it blows the fuse. The other house used to blow the fuse with both these on, so we'll see what happens. So, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna set you up on here and uh, time lapse it so you can see me taking them off and then we'll come back. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'm gonna do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks. I'm gonna stack bricks up, build what I want to make. Yo! Got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. Cause my messages are timeless, so they'll put them on display. Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty. I have a sense of urgency. A message for eternity, for everyone internally. I had some people burning me, but now they fucking learn to see. I ain't the one to fuck with. Now they looking nervously, and I don't really care what you think of me respectfully. You can kick rocks. Okay, guys. So, I have, uh peeled off both sides i guess i threw it on the ground so there's one there there you know it's all around so this is what it looks like after everything is peeled off now remember when i first held up the molding and how stiff it was right now watch right see this now it's super floppy okay so what you do now, if you got all these little waves and stuff in it, you set this bad boy on the floor out in the sun. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna heat up and it's gonna straighten back out. The other best part about it is when you go to put it on uh, the door per se. So I'm gonna set you up here again in one second. Let's see if I can get you lined up. So you can kind of see there, um, let me flip this out. So when you go to put it on the door, I got the right side. Yeah, I do. So when you put it on the door and you stick your tape to it, it's going to stick perfect because it's, this is how floppy it is. It just, it's like nothing. So like I said, put it in the sun, it's going to heat up the rubber and then that rubber is going to sit, um, it's going to straighten out for you and it's going to make it stiff. This one's still a little stiff because it has some paint on it. Paint will make it a little bit more stiffer, but now it's normally like rubber. Once it's flat, like I said, it is cool out. Uh, it's cool in my garage right now. I just turned the heater, heaters on. It's only like one degree here or zero. So um, like I said, this will give it and then you just use your 3M two-sided tape and just stick it on. And like I said, They'll never peel off again. They'll never try to roll out, whatever, because that metal is not keeping it stiff. So I've done this a few times and it's worked out really well. So if some of you guys are having issues with your moldings peeling away after you put them back on, or even on a stock car that hasn't had the moldings pulled off, um, take them off, peel that metal stripping out of the back, like I said, this is what it is. Now it's not a really thick strips of metal, but it's enough to stiffen that up, right? 
So it's kind of a little tip. You might have seen it before, but it works really well on moldings that are bent out of shape and stuff like that to help uh, get them back in form. Like I just pushed on that. Look at how straight it is now. You know what I mean? So you can do this, have it bent, or you can twist it back and it'll be perfectly straight. So um, just a little small tip for you guys today. Um, nice short video while I'm out in the garage. I have been sanding. Um, I threw some white paint on this quarter quickly just to kind of see how it would turn out. I'm thinking it's gonna look good um, and kind of go from there. Quick update, like I said, I haven't touched the car, so I still have to finish touching up the back here and then we're straight on to bodywork. I have all the panels for the car now. I have the hood on it. Um, I do have replacement fenders. Like I said, I have two fenders because the other fender is garbage, um, stuff like that. I have the trunk lid. I'm actually getting the trunk lid back from the car when I got it. I'm getting that same trunk lid back. Mike was working on it. It also had a little bit of damage and Mike doesn't want Bondo on his car, like a bunch of it. So, um, so I'm gonna get that back. And uh, yeah, so like I said, guys, I'm gonna try to put videos out as much as I can. It might be two a week, it might be one a month, it might be one every three months. I don't know. In the uh, At the end of November, I am on vac vacation. Uh, my goal is to get the suspension in this car. Um, so it's sitting on the wheels because I gotta get it rolling to get it for paint. All right, so we're gonna paint the car at the shop. Um, that's the plan. Uh, how fast or quickly that'll happen, I don't know. So we'll see. I wanna get the motor down here and everything because I wanna start cleaning that stuff up. Maybe I can do some videos on that. Um, just clean it up. It is a stock 302 motor, guys. There's nothing, there's no cam, nothing. So it's just gonna be basic. Um, and clean it up in here and kind of go from there, right? So I appreciate you guys support. Like I said, I, I do get down sometimes and I don't have time and I just think I should stop. Uh, you know, I do like making the videos. So like I said, I'll try to put them out when I can, but it's not gonna be very consistent. So if you guys wanna stick around, sweet. If not, I understand, but we'll get there. And maybe after a while, I'll get back to doing cons some consistent stuff. It all depends on my time and what I got going on. Okay guys? So, and there's gonna be some updates hopefully on the twin turbo coyote box too as well. Mike's trying to decide what we're what the next step is that with that car. So hopefully I can give you an update on that. All right guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Have a good day.